Hi, so today we'll be looking at IG First Language, past year May, June 2015, Paper 2, Reading Passages Extended. We'll be looking at passage A, and a good habit you should have is that you should read the question first to see what key points they're looking for, and then take note of these points while you're reading the passage. As you can see, in this question, they say that you are Zelda's husband, Bob, and they want you to write a letter to your brother, Brian, who lives abroad telling him about your holiday. And then what they want you to take note of is that in your letter, you should comment on your expectations of the trip, your feelings about Zelda's behavior on the first two days of the holiday, and what happened during the rest of the trip. So keep this in mind when you're reading through the passage. So now if you have to pass your paper, please read through the passage before continuing with this video. You can also download this past year paper with the link in the description below. Okay, here I have already highlighted the points that are related to what the question is asking. Okay, now we'll go through the passage together to see what points we should put in our letter. Now, I've already gone through the passage and then as you can see, I've already highlighted the key points in different colors. Well, in different colors so that we can, you know, it's easy to see uh, what I'm talking about and which phrases go into which parts of the letter. Okay, the first thing they ask you for is what is your expectations of the trip? And the your they're talking about, the you they're talking about is Bob. Because, okay, this might be a little tricky. Uh, this passage, this passage over here, is all written from the perspective of Zelda, who is Bob's husband. Okay, but the letter they want you to write is from the perspective of Bob. So make sure you don't get confused, okay? So now let's start. I've already labeled it and uh, I've given the color of green for the content that fits this part of the letter, Bob's expectations. So first up, we can say that uh, maybe Bob wanted some peace and quiet. You know, he wants to get away from the glitzy shops and relax. Now this point, this point right here could be found, can be found in the first paragraph where he says that Bob announced a surprise treat and he wants to go a week on a canal boat in the countryside, right? The countryside is known to be very relaxing and he declared that peace and quiet would do us good. So maybe he wants peace and quiet, he wants to get away from it all, he doesn't want, he wants to get away, relax, relax his mind from the city, the hustle and bustle of the city life, you know. Next up, Another point we can say is that uh, maybe he, Bob thought that uh, this is a popular pastime because he saw some famous acting couple like go on a famous boat. He saw a famous acting couple go on a boat ride as well. It says here, some famous acting couple on the boat and they kept on this canal. Right? So maybe he thought that and he hoped that Zelda, his wife, might actually like it because she sees that other celebrities do it as well. Another thing is, um, Bob li may have liked it because it was, a co it was cozy and luxurious. Okay, cozy and luxurious right here. The point's right here. Because there's a microwave and a shower. Microwave and a shower. Right. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a little bit tricky when you're trying to find the points in the passage because, you know, it's, it's kind of mixed up. It's not exactly written in order. You may have to jump around and connect things. But yeah, but that also gives you some sort of, a little bit of flexibility when it comes to writing. Okay, so another thing Bob may have liked and what he expected of the trip is that maybe he could finally get some hands-on activities. Like maybe Bob's a businessman, you know, every day he's slaving away in his office, typing on his keyboard and all that. So maybe he wants the experience of being able to do physical activities like thrusting a tiller which is right here see uh, a man was telling Bob that watering up and approaching locks with care and thrusting the tiller in a particular way when reversing so yeah maybe he, he, he he's never steered a boat before in his life and he wanted to try it and maybe it's a difficult task a very physically demanding task and he wants something different okay so another thing Bob may like is uh, Sorry. Another thing Bob may like is that he wants to visit some historical sites. Okay? 
So according to the passage here, that the canal goes through a very old town. Uh, in fact, canals in general are very old. And uh, you get to see some church designed by a famous 19th century architect. Yeah, so maybe he wanted to do some sightseeing, you know, see, see the old world. And then we could also say that he enjoyed the food. No, he expected nice food, sorry. He expected nice food because he's heard that uh, there's a restaurant with a fine reputation right here. Restaurant area with a fine reputation. Yep, so that's all for the first uh, part of the letter. Uh, Bob's expectations. Now let's go to the next part. So the next part of the letter that they want you to write is that they want you to talk about Bob's feelings about Zelda's behavior, Zelda's his wife, on the first two days of the holiday. Now mark it in red because if you read through the passage you can tell that Zelda doesn't really, she didn't really enjoy the trip that much, right? Okay so from Zelda's perspective I mean, um, from what Bob thinks Zelda felt during the first days of the holiday. So, uh, if from the first sentence itself, you can tell that uh, Zelda wanted glitz. See, she wanted all I want from a holiday is a five-star hotel, glitzy shop, top-class entertainment, you know, go a bit more bougie. She wants glitz, five-star hotel, shops, entertainment, but... Unfortunately, a canal trip doesn't really give you any of that. So she was a bit taken aback. She wasn't really excited. Taken aback. And then she didn't really think that she wanted some peace and quiet. So you could say in your letter that uh, Zelda didn't really, wasn't really keen on going on this trip. Maybe she was a bit reluctant on going because she wanted, she wanted some... She wanted to go on a more expensive holiday, expensive in a sense that it's more, more urban, more city-like. But Bob brought her on a canal trip instead. So maybe he thought that she may not have liked it that much. Okay, another thing that Zelda may have not liked is maybe she complained when they were transferring stuff from their car onto the canal boat. They're packing, like this part packing. Uh, it says that there's lots of stuff to transfer from the car to the boat and that it took a long time. Maybe she was complaining about why is it so hard to move things from the car to the boat and why does it why why is it taking such a long time? It's written here in the passage an age, meaning a long time, to decant everything from the car into this tube with windows. So she describes the boat as a tube with windows, which means she really doesn't like the boat. And then uh, facilities, okay. Maybe Zelda doesn't like the facilities. See, the boatyard owner actually said that it's a it's cozy and luxurious, but she said, what nonsense. She wants more than a shower and a microwave to feel pampered. So even though Bob may have thought that the facilities were good, they're microwaves and showers, but from Zelda's perspective, she thinks that Microwaves are not enough, uh, showers are not enough, and there's also no phone signal, or at least a weak phone signal, which you can see here. Try in vain to get a phone signal. So maybe she thought that it's very, you know, maybe it was a bit boring, very old-fashioned, and she doesn't like it that much. Okay, and she also thinks that the boat yard here, a boat yard, is smelly and that she must leave. So in right here on paragraph three, no way I would spend our night, our first night in the smelly boatyard. And I told Bob we must leave. So maybe uh, in your letter you can say that she's always complaining about how smelly the boatyard was, how much she wants to leave, how much she's not enjoying the trip and all that. So going down to the next point, uh, she, the clothes, uh, her pants, her white pants were dirtied by dog paws. And right here, the dirty paw marks all over my white trousers. So in your letter, you could say that uh, Zelda, even though she knew she was going on a canal trip, she wasn't really dressed appropriately. She doesn't need to dress up. Maybe she, you, you can say that she doesn't need to dress up for the boat trip. 
but she did anyway, which, you know, it didn't turn up really good for her. Okay, but as you read on, okay, this part in yellow, I put it in yellow, it's because uh, to me, it feels like Zelda is starting to enjoy the trip a little bit. So you can also put that in your letter, you can say that even though she was complaining the whole way for the first day or two, but later on, she started seeing the beauties of going on a canal boat trip. Okay, so the scenery, Zelda started, the scenery here, Zelda starting to appreciate it. See, it's written right here. When she woke up, she was smiling on the oak trees, wearing the spring foliage, like new coats, feathery clouds, blue sky. Okay. And uh, attractive as it was, I would have appreciated the sight more if I enjoyed some 8 hours sleep. So, even though Zelda may have showed signs of starting to appreciate the trip, but she doesn't like, like it 100%. She's still a bit reluctant and maybe she still wants to go back to a comfortable bed at home. Right. Okay, so that's all for this part, the red part. Uh, feelings of Zelda. Now, we go on to the last part of the letter. Now, this part I think is the most difficult and most students have a lot of trouble because this part is completely up to the writer, as in it's up to you, up to the student. Right? Because you have, because it's not in the text. You just have to find, you have to make sure that you write things that are related to the text and that you can make an inference based on what you read in the passage, but it's not in the passage itself. So, the question asks you, what happened What happened during the rest of the trip? Okay, I highlighted it in blue, but there isn't that much that you can go off of. So you could say that uh, maybe Bob and Zelda met interesting locals like the bird watcher and the passersby. You didn't hear Bob exchanging pleasantries with passersby. And he met a bird watcher and they say they met a really interesting bird, a lesser ring neck, green headed flycatcher or some, or some such thing. And maybe you could also say, like, we were, they were talking about the restaurant earlier, but you could also say that during the rest of the trip, they actually found a restaurant with the fine reputation, and they actually went to it, and maybe you could say they enjoyed food, and maybe you could say that Zelda actually enjoyed the food. You could talk about more scenery, they went sightseeing some more, maybe you could see they saw other old buildings. And maybe at the end, you could say that Zelda started to enjoy the trip a little bit, and that you don't regret it at all. Or you could also say that maybe this was a mistake. Because uh, as you can see here, oh, I didn't highlight it, but Zelda says, let's hope not. And this is only day two. So maybe she still doesn't really enjoy it that much. It's completely up to you how you want to write it. Uh, that could be a good thing or a bad thing. But yeah, you have some freedom for, for what you want to write on your IGCSEs. Okay, that's all. Thank you so much for watching this video.